Okay, now when the IPL is on, there isn't too much opportunity to get some downtime. Yes, but Mumbai Indians fielding coach John T. Rhodes uses the small breaks pretty well. He was at the Kovalam Beach in Tiruvananthapuram for the first edition of the National Surfing Championships. And as you can see, he took some time out to go surfing. Not only that, he also took some time out to speak with uh, CNN IBN's Naveen Nair. Listen in. It's been a mixed bag for Mumbai Indians, I guess. Are you really worried about the way the team has been going? Well, I think, you know, this is my fifth IPL with Mumbai Indians. And if I consider the entire experience I've had, it's kind of been a mixed bag. You know, I think T20 cricket is, is pretty much like that. There's only been one side in all the IPLs that's been fairly consistent. Chennai have always had a slow start and then have, have, have moved mm. on. And they're, they're doing it again this IPL. So, right. you know, it doesn't guarantee them a win. Kolkata showed last year that they certainly have the players. And I think what's been exciting with us in Mumbai Indians is that we've, we've kind of had great games at home. And yeah. we've, we've obviously we've picked a team and developed a team that plays very well at Bankhead Stadium. Right. And now we're going to do the same with our away matches because we haven't quite had the same success. So, yeah, IPL cricket is pretty much up and down. Right. You had two big guns, Sachin Tendulkar and Ricky Pond haven't really done well, especially Ponding uh, later on realized the fact that he stepped down. Cause of concern there? Well, I think what's important in T20 cricket is that your openers get you off to a fairly good start. So I right. think, you know, it, Ricky Ponting took the decision to, to stand down and that he had played a few games and hadn't converted any of the starts. And having Smith and Tendulkar at the front, you know, I think we've had one or two matches where they both fired together or they, they've, we've, we've got the starts that we wanted. But it is obviously for us, if we, we look back at our results, we've, we've battled under pressure a few times when we haven't quite got the starts we wanted. But in saying that, it's, it's all very well sending somebody else out and saying, good luck, you, you're the man for the job, go and do it. So it is an area that we, we're looking to address. Uh, you know, obviously we've got a good bowling attack, but if you don't score enough runs, then difficult to defend. Rohit Sharma has filled this gap more or less well, Ricky Pontings. How do you look at uh, Rohit's leadership, I mean, the qualities he's shown? Well, I think Rohit is, is, is a player who took over the mantle quite quickly because he's quite a relaxed character. I mean, he's intense. If you look at his, if you look at his body language, it looks like he's pretty much got things under control, but he, he's an intense player. He practices really hard. His batting performances certainly show that he's a man who handles this, the pressure situation as well. What is running through your mind reaching the final four? How, how easy is going to be Mumbai Indians for that? Well, I think at, at the start of the tournament, we talk about taking one game at a time and then towards the, the middle sections and towards the end, yeah. that's pretty much what you've got to do. If you think too far ahead about qualification or what you have to do, the players know what, how many games we have to win. Um, you know, obviously, we got, we're fortunate we've still got quite a few of our, our matches that are remaining at Vankata Stadium at home. So we've pretty much built a, a very solid base there. Well, let's talk about Jaunty the surfer. I mean, how big are you in surfing? Well, I'm a little guy, so I wouldn't say I'm very big, but I love it. You know, I think for me, surfing is, is, is a lifestyle. Cricket is my career, and whether I was playing for South Africa and now coaching in, in the IPL, it's certainly a career choice, where surfing is more along the lifestyle. You know, I only started surfing once I'd retired, and I'm really sad because the, one, the beauty of cricket is that you get to travel to see, as you're saying, God's own country. And, and, and every, you know, from the West Indies to um, Sri Lanka, every, most of the countries that you travel to, Australia, New Zealand, there is surf. Right. And in South Africa too. So having only started surfing once I retired, you know, it's been a long, hard road to, to get to where I am today. But it, it, yeah, it's awesome to be involved in this exciting event. I also wanted to know whether Naveen actually got any surfing lessons there from John T. Rhodes. Well, on to some football news now. Chelsea booking a spot in the Europa League final with a 3-1 win over Basel in their second league semi-final late last night. Stamford Bridge.